is going on guys? This is Failing YouTuber Marvin and I have a little theater perspective gameplay for you guys today. So this is going to be kind of like a play-by-play. -play. I'm playing this in theater right now. I'm not actually recording live, obviously. So I'm using the AN-94, Suppressor and Stock, and the class, I believe, I have Scavenger, Toughness, Hardline, Lightweight, and Dexterity. I believe that's my class. So I pick my Cap 40. It's a little hard to see because it's theater. Jump shot that guy. He was kind of on the head glitch. I drop shot this dude. So I'm stunned. So this is why I get the reload. There's nothing else I really could have done while I'm stunned. This guy doesn't see me, luckily, so I jump shot him and pick up another kill there. Get my UAV. UAVs are actually really helpful in free for all. Get that strafe with the Cap 40. Cap 40 is actually so overpowered. So, switch back to the A94, get the reload. Oftentimes, it's a good idea to be in the corner while you're reloading, guys. And that little head glitch you just saw to the left, that's actually a pretty helpful spot. Not a lot, a lot of people check there in free for all. So, if you guys want to try to use that to your advantage, you can go for it. So, I'm just kind of sticking to the outskirts of the map while I got my UAV up. Nothing worse than getting shot in the back while I have a UAV up. So, just trying to pick up these scavenger packs here. See, there's a guy there, but I'm like, I don't want to challenge that. So, there's a head glitch right there. You guys see how I'm kind of aiming in on my sights every time I see a head glitch? It's oftentimes helpful. They'll keep it from getting killed. Don't know how that guy hit marked me. Probably shot me through about three walls. <laughs> Guess I got lucky I didn't die there. So, again, just kind of keeping my backs to the walls, sticking to the outskirts of the map. This is the easiest way to get a V-set oftentimes. So, as you, can, as you can see, I'm jump shotting around the corner after I got the guy weak. It's pretty rare if someone will actually turn on you once you already get him weak. Unless your shot is simply really terrible, which mine is not the best right now because I haven't used the A94 in a while, but it's still pretty decent. So as you guys can see, this guy gets a counter UAV, and I'm very close to my VSAT, one off, I think. So uh, I'm just kind of playing a little bit defensively, trying not to die here. And end up picking up that kill. And I have my V-set. But as you guys can see, I wait to call it in. And not, I don't be impulsive and just call it in. And it's a good thing I didn't because this guy had his counter up. It would have been just still counting UAV and wasted about half of my V-set. So just playing safe here. Pick up another kill here. And if you guys don't know, a swarm in free-for-all is 18 kills with... Or 16 kills with hardline, sorry, and 19 without it. So I thought it was 15, actually. But I guess not. I guess I figured it out this game. So, um, just playing very cautiously, trying to be careful, the sp snipers are spawning near me, and running low on ammo here, so that's a bit of an issue. Glad I picked up that cap 40, that's why I always pick up a second gun if I see it. Even with scavenger, you can run out, so I pretty much run out of ammo here, and jump shot this guy, and boy, that cap 40 is overpowered. Get that beautiful headshot on that guy, didn't stand a chance. And then, this is the moment we've all been waiting for, right? One off the swarm, and see what happens. Boom. Let's back this up a little bit here. And put this in slow motion, shall we? So I see, see the guy there. I tried to wall bang him a little bit. And I'm like, okay, I don't have FMJ. Probably won't get the kill. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to jump shot around the corner. Normally that's the best way to play against snipers, right? And then miss a shot or two. If you guys don't know, it's kind of hard to hit shots when you jump shot around the corner. And then boom. This guy is going 7 and 8. Let's just slow this down here. And let's just see what happened. So this guy dies here. He runs up to me. Comes around the corner. And boom. Insta-death. Right off of my swarm. If you guys can please just leave me a comment explaining what I did wrong, how I possibly could have gotten that swarm gameplay for you, I would appreciate it. 